in that pool there's a central seat and in order to get off that seat you have to take a literal step into the unknown now you, you don't realize it at the time but just below the surface of the water there's a grid and you can walk on that grid but unless you try to step out you have no idea that you can actually do it the planting will contrast quite quite significantly from the inside to the outside of this garden um, but some of the plants that are in the middle may be used on the outside and that's to show that depending on the context and your perspective it depends on the atmosphere and how you feel about about that space and the tree is the same as tree with your own head when you're on the outside of the garden there is a spiral water shoot and it kind of just floats above the planting and what it is to represent as, as water is the giver and taker of life it's to represent the fact that you can spiral back down again even though you've made it to the outside to that more lush planting beyond there is going to be a difference in perspective from the inside looking out and from the outside looking back into the garden again from a visitor's perspective you're only going to see from the outside looking in and in order to help a visitor visualize what it can feel like from the inside we're having a 360 photograph uh, that, are, that you're going to have to be able to access online and that should then give you the chance to see a unique perspective on, on this garden the planting on the outside is going to be a lot softer in feel it's going to have sunny areas and it's going to have darker areas at the back in the shade tolerant areas in the garden the the garden is mostly about green and about texture because um, when you're in that mindset of darkness I find this is a personal thing but I find that you don't necessarily see color you kind of would see textures more than anything else and I wanted to kind of tell that story